Hi, it's mail time. <laughs> Going up. Right, we begin this episode with thanks to Sarah Delaney from Ireland who sent me this, which is a twirl, which doesn't seem particularly remarkable in itself, except it's an orange one. You only get the orange ones, I believe, in Ireland. You don't get them in England. So that is a very precious thing, which I'm not going to eat just yet. But eat it I shall, to be sure. That's probably racism these days. Right, here we go. I don't know where that's come from. CO6. Crikey. Um, where is the, that is the top. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This letter is very long. The typeface is very small. These are suboptimal things. Dear Mr. May, I'm sending you an invention of mine, ooh, which has never really taken off. Indeed, thanks only to eBay, it just about covers its annual patent renewal fee. So, about the product I've sent you, it's a toy car storage system with an integral helter-skelter. I had visions of mothers all over the world being grateful that I provided their sons and daughters with a neat way of storing their toy car collections, blah, blah. And so he goes on about his uh, failed business venture. Oh. Right, I see. Have a look at that. That's a, it's a sort of modular thing and you clip it together thus and these bits form a continuous, yes indeed, a helter-skelter. And then you store the cars themselves in these little bits here. I think that's rather good actually. I don't know why that didn't take off. So it goes up and up and up and it will go up. This, it's excellent. Carl Tatum, director of Geometrician Limited. Stacker Track, it's called. I hope you find that Stacker Track fits into your plans for the show. Feel free to mock me as a failed entrepreneur. What a fool I was. No, actually, because uh, I think it was John F. Kennedy who said, whoever dares to fail miserably can achieve greatly. I wouldn't say your failure is completely miserable compared with, say, sitting on a rocket that blows up, because he was talking about the beginnings of the space program when he said that. But I think that is actually a very, very good idea. You put your car on the top and eventually it will come flying out of the bottom here. In fact, let's try it. Let's try it out. Have we got a toy car somewhere? Lucy, you would know this. Too big. This is for matchbox size toy cars or Hot Wheels. That'll do, the Land Rover. So there's, there's another three sections, but where's the exit? Oh, bollocks, I've broken the bloody Land Rover. Hang on, the edit round that bit. So there's the exit, agreed. Here is the Land Rover, stacker track. That's, if I'd had this when I was six, I'd have become completely It's excellent. Do I want to give that away? I'll tell you what, here's the deal. It's an excellent invention. We're not going to mock you for being a failed entrepreneur. We're not going to do an Alan Sugar on you and dismiss your creativity whilst pretending that merely having a bit of money to sponsor things is somehow important. It's an excellent invention. Would you like it? Are you a collector of toy cars? If you are, you will like this. You will use this. It's superb. And um, Carl Tatum, send another one immediately for me to keep. Thank you very much. Sean Connick of Douglas, Isle of Man. Remember to always cut towards yourself. Dear James, please find enclosed a 1 1250th scale Nevis Neptun HMS hood to pass on or keep. Kind regards, Sean Connick. Letter kept short, he puts at the end. Correct. HMS hood, which I think was destroyed in battle with the loss of just about everybody on board. Is that it? Yes.
Oh, I say. Just stand by for a moment, viewers, whilst I go in. Well, it's affixed in many devious ways to the cardboard packaging. But look, with moving gun turrets, it's HMS hood. That's actually rather a... I mean, it's a bit pointless, but it's, it's, it's quite a nice thing, I suppose. Would you like HMS hood? It's made out of a um, die-cast metal of some sort, I would suspect a zinc alloy. So it will sink very authentically in your bath. If you would like HMS hood, let me know why, and it's yours. <coughs> this is from, where is it from? France. Honestly, people thought that the world would end because of the nuclear holocaust or something like that. But it's actually going to be because of parcel tape. Is there a letter? There appears not to be a letter. Yes, there is. Stand by. Stand by. Plenty of it. Flood the cowling. 2015 Ferrari 458 Speciale. Dear James May, I have been watching Top Gear since I was two years old. So he's about 35 now. Uh, one Hot Wheels in the box is one of your cars. Ooh, Hot Wheels. I'm in the third grade, I know all about cars. Hope you like it, from Gavin Vega. Wow, there's a McLaren 720S. There is a Ford GT race car. These are all Hot Wheels, these are lovely. There's an Alpine A110, which is a car I own, indeed. And finally, there is a Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. Very good, is there anything else in there? Oh, there's another one. What is that? That's a Mazda. Oh, it's a Mazda CX-5, um, small SUV. Excellent, I think uh, I'm gonna keep the Alpine. Thank you very much. That can go on the wall when I find a suitable hook for it. And the others will give away. In fact, we'll give them away individually just to make life really miserable for Lucy Brown at Drive Tribe, because that means she has to package them up separately and address them and take them to the post office and all the rest of it. So you've got a Mazda CX-5, a McLaren 720S, the Lamborghini Centenario, and the uh, Ford GT racing version. Simply say in the comments on Drive Tribe which one you'd like and why, and you'll have them. Mm, no indication of sender. Am I doing that on the right side? Hang on. Grand Tour packaging used by Amazon at the, at the uh, launch of the Grand Tour, I think, in, when we launched it in 2015. The Little Voodoo Kit, Revenge Therapy for the Overstressed. I'm not sure we should dabble in this sort of thing. It's a big joke for us in the West, but you know, some people would take that very seriously. Dear Mr. May, Please find enclosed a life-size <laughs> Richard Hammond remote acupuncture kit. Yours sincerely, Steve Dads. Now, what makes it Richard Hammond particularly? Now, I mean, if voodoo is true, if all this stuff is true, you would stick pins in that after saying some incantations of some sort, and it would cause stabbing pains to the same parts of Richard Hammond's real body which I'm not sure, I mean, I don't believe it, but what if it's true? Dabbling in dark forces or just a bit of fun? I mean, I don't know very much about voodoo, but don't the effects last? It's not just when you stick the pin in, is it? I mean, Richard Hammond is quite annoying. I, I'll grant you that, but I'm not, hmm. If you give it away, someone else might use it. Someone else might use it on me or you or you, or a geranium, as James Burke once said. <laughs> they are floor samples, really? Oh, 
Hello and welcome to UK Flooring Direct. Thank you for ordering your free samples. You'll find they are larger than many, giving you a really good feel to how your new floor could look in your home. This is, I think this is known as laminate. It's not obviously solid wood flooring. So, um, it's sort of tongue and tongue. Interlocking. Dear James May's mail time, your order number is SA blah blah. Please provide this number when contacting us. Below is a summary of the products you request. I didn't make it. Why are we wasting our time on this? No floor samples, please. The Lord's Brewing Company has sent me. It's beer. It's definitely beer and coasters, beer mats. The Lord's Brewing Company. Dear Mr. May, enclosed are some of the beers we produce here at Lord's, which is in Uddersfield. We thought you might be in need of a good tipple, dead right, I'm in need of a good one tonight actually. So we are sending you these with our best wishes. We hope you enjoy them most heartily. Yours sincerely, all at Lord's. John, Ben, Tim, Trigger Mike and Georgia, etc. Well, thank you, especially Georgia, etc. Let's see what um, Lord's beer looks like. Tithe House Bitter. Is this a select? Oh, yes, we've got all sorts of different. That strange meadow lark. Tithe House Bitter. The Grand Imperial IPA from Uddersfield. Fantastic. Silver Spur, which is also a type of Rolls Royce. The, the Bandon Car, a porter. A dark beer made of Orleans. Oh God, this is just so exciting. This is brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Would you like these beers or one of these beers? Write and tell me why you think you should have them. You can whistle Dixie out your ass, frankly. Mine. Finally, uh, Lucy will bring in, this is incredibly exciting. What can this be? It is mm, huge. It's a picture. Oh, I see what's, no, hang on a minute. It's very clever because I can lift it up a bit. What someone has done, I'll say that again, what someone has wasted quite a lot of their life doing is transposing our heads. Richard Hammond's head is enormous, whereas in reality, of course, Jeremy Clarkson's head is enormous. But he is on Jeremy Clarkson's body, because that's Jeremy's shirt. That's my face. Obviously, I'm on Richard Hammond's body because he wears the waistcoat. That's one of my ridiculous shirts, but it now has Jeremy Clarkson's face on it. That's clever, and it's been done by Blackstone Printing. This is a plug. Would you like this? I sure as hell don't want it, and neither does anybody else here. Write and tell me why you would like a picture of three desperately unattractive men transposed onto each other's clothing on your wall, and believe me, you will receive it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.